Hello, I'm Bobby Lee. Our top story, the USF janitorial staff was picketing in front of the Memorial Gym on Thursday, October 26, in hopes of gathering public support for a better contract offer. The janitors have been working without a contract for 10 months and talks have broken down between the janitors union, SEIU Local 87, and their employer, Able Building Maintenance Company of San Francisco. The university contracts with Able for cleaning services for the entire university. Able says their final offer would give janitors a 3% wage increase each year for the next five years, with the company continuing to pay all health care premiums. The union has not accepted Able's final offer, and no talks have been held in the three weeks since that offer was made. The union says the sticking points include hourly pay, seniority, and a progressive pay system where new janitors would start off at 70% of the pay that current janitors enjoy. USF knows very well what is being offered at the table. And if they're defending a tier system, I would challenge Father Prevet to come out and say that he doesn't deserve the raises that they've given themselves over the last five years. The university issued a statement saying that they believe the current contract offer to be fair and just. The university supports the collective bargaining process and is confident that ABLE and SEIU Local 87 will come to a quick, fair and equitable outcome. Union officials say the next step is a strike. It remains unclear whether other unions representing university staff and employees will honor those picket lines and ABLE says they have not made a decision whether to lock out the janitors if the strike takes place. In a telephone interview with ABLE's Labor Counsel, Bob Ford, the company said, quote, The union members have a right to strike, but we believe there's no need for it and no justification for it. The proposal we made will make these janitors the highest paid in the Bay Area, if not California. If they do strike, we are more than prepared to service USF and make sure the cleaning is done. We'll have replacements and it will not be a problem. We have the right to replace them and continue working to provide a service to USF. No talks are currently scheduled, and the union has set a target date of mid-November for a possible strike. And that's our newscast. On behalf of the entire news crew, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to USF TV News 35. See you next time.